first time today. Uh, you know, Jim, this guy, he's, he's starting to inch his way up into that elite status, and, and he keeps playing solid football. So if he goes out here today and, and plays a good, solid game again today, we're going we're gonna to start talking about him differently here in the future. Here's the handoff, and they'll run it. Pure determination. What a run. Touchdown. Phil, what a way to make a statement by scoring so early in this game. You know, Jim, I love making statements, and that's what this team did. They went out there and told their, the opposition, we are better, we're tougher, and take that. It's good. Takes a knee in the end zone. Ellington lined up as the single back. First down at the 20. That's a gain of six. That's a nice, powerful statement as they establish the run at the beginning of this game. Yeah, Jim, I, you're, you're right. I'm going to give the offense a little credit here, but... You know, somewhere, I don't know, maybe the defense going to have to put some weights in their pockets. you got to hang in there and make the tackle. It's caught by Michael Floyd. Floyd's met after a gain of 13. You know, when you throw the football like that down the field, you pick up a first down, now you can do anything you want on the offensive side, and you got that defense guessing. The Cardinals have it at the 39. My goodness, what a hit. And the ball falls incomplete. He is one of the most versatile players in the league, Andre Ellington. Well, you're right. He is versatile, but I'll also say this. He's really fast, and that's a good attribute to have when you're talking about running backs in the NFL. Second down and 10. Ellington and the football. Picks up about five. Here's the defense, a unit that works best when it gets to the quarterback. Still five yards short of a first after the run. Third down coming up. The defense gets a sack. When he puts on third down, you hope to get to the quarterback. Here's why. Because there are less defensive backs back there. The chances of giving up the big play are pretty high. But the rush, they're quick enough. They get there and they sack the QB. He's going to try and return this punt. They tackle him at the 26-yard line. That return's good for about eight. The Cardinals' defense comes onto the field after surrendering a touchdown on the last drive. Well, they're hoping for better results. No question about that, Jim. They got to come out. They got to hustle. There was not enough hustle last time. And the number one key for all defensive teams is play hard. Way to call him out there, Carl. Hey, that's what I do. That's his first reception today. Can you believe how steady and reliable this guy is? He is. He is. Is it? What's the phrase for it? He is money, Jim Nance. Man, he pays off every single time. You throw the football near him, he'll make the catch. They bring in the extra tight end. And he's thrown to the ground. Well, I know this feeling. When a blitzer's coming, nobody's there to block him. There's nothing you can do as a quarterback, but... Try to protect yourself because you're going down. Quick drop back. Too much pressure, and he's brought down again. That's a bad job by the offense that time. There's no doubt about it. The blitz by the defense, they do not do a good job of finding out where everybody's blitzing from. They let a guy come free, and that free blitzer, or as we call them, free runners, he gets the hit on the QB and takes him down. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Nice job that time by the defense, knowing the situation.
Make the tackle before the first down. Good job. Fourth down coming up. They bring back out the offense to go for it. For this play, they'll go with two tight ends. The Seahawks turn the ball over on downs. The Seahawks were putting together quite a drive, but they don't finish it off, and they'll turn it over on down. Yeah, it's disheartening. Anytime you do this, you have a good offensive series, then you don't convert in a most crucial situation. The pressing, go to the sideline, try to correct it. Nice run that time. When you run the football like this, over a period of time, it's going to wear that defense out. There's no doubt about it. Nice job by the offensive line. Ellington's got it on the handoff. Ellington's a dangerous runner when you give him room to run, but there is no room this time. What a job by the defense. They bottle him up for a short game. It'll be third down. Another handoff right back to him. He's tackled beyond the markers. It's a first down. Ellington's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. Homer's back in shotgun formation. And it's out of bounds incomplete. Just 23 yards to the end zone. Second and 10. He robs him of the interception. He turns around and defends the pass. Well, with his third long early in the game as a quarterback, as an offense, you just be very careful of this situation and just try not to make a big mistake. The Cardinals take it from the 23. And it's batted down. The Cardinals put themselves in a situation where the defense has all the advantage. They know the pass probably has to go down the field on third and long. And they were ready for it. Neutral zone infraction, defense. Still for He'll try game. this one from 35. The kick is good. Here we are about to start the second quarter, and both offenses still seem to be trying to figure out a game plan for this one, Phil. The heck with figuring out things. It's time to open it up a little bit. you got to take some chances to make positive plays in this league. These are good defenses, so if you want to get some productive plays on the offensive side, take a chance and go down the field with the football. We see now just some of the many hits this quarterback has taken during a challenging day for him, Phil. Jim, it's very understandable why he is not playing well today. Think about it. When you have less time to make a decision on where to throw the football, you are not going to have a great day. The Seahawks are going to line up. Close game, second quarter. The score's 7-3. to three. The Seahawks from the 22. Has the reception all alone. Well, that's a good route that time by the receiver. They call that a post route, and they call it a post route because he is running towards the goal post. Nice throw and catch. The give. The Seahawks now move the chains. First down here after the run. That time, the man-to-man -man coverage won. The quarterback had to make a perfect throw. He didn't. Incomplete pass. The Seahawks come to the line with a bunch set. Take it off. 
manage the football game. That's what you have to do as a quarterback. You're winning a close game and it's third and long. Well, manage it. Know what to do. Don't force the play here. If it's not there, throw it away and just punt the football. On the way, third down. The Seahawks are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. Out of the shotgun. Pass is intercepted. The interception could certainly give this team the jolt it needed early in the second quarter, Phil. And you know what you got to do for your quarterback in a situation like this? Give him a play where you know he's going to get the completion, get his confidence going, and take advantage of that interception. They'll run it here. That's Wagner making the stop. When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw play because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. Second down and five. To the ground. Ellington is tackled down. Third down now. The Cardinals will set up. The 28 is the first down line. Homer is going to take it from the gun. Jermaine Gresham has the catch. The ball is fumbled. Nice job by the offense that time. Even though they fumbled the football quick enough and smart enough to get on it right away. First down at the 35. Rubens all over that offense and brings him down. Got to give the defense some credit on first down. There's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Let's go, let's go. The Cardinals snap it at the 31. Ellington's taking the handoff. It's not always about being safe on third and long. Every coordinator has a, a group of plays that they like, a third and 15 plus. So it can be scenes, double moves, plays where you catch the defense by surprise, and you can pick up a very tough first down situation. The Cardinals will take the snap from the 30. Gets it out for the completion. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. And this is what this defensive unit needs to keep doing making stops on third down, getting the ball back to the offense, and hoping they can find the rhythm on that side. I love what the defense has done so far. Of course, we see the hustle, and they're playing hard, but they're being smart. And when you put all those things together, you get good play. And a touchback. The Seahawks' last drive ended with an interception. So what do you think here, partner? Are they going to play a little safer this time around in an effort to avoid another giveaway? Well, Jim, I think, listen, this is not a perfect game. It's a game of adversity. You're, you're going to have turnover, so keep your confidence up. Still stay aggressive. That's how you play and win in the NFL. Holding offense. The defense will take the penalty. And now returning to the field, just two minutes to go, and it's a big spot as we've got an offense that would love to increase that lead before the intermission. And Johnson can't quite pick it off. When you look at the numbers, it's interesting to see that the passing game just hasn't been there, but still they're winning the game. Almost always when the passing game is not working on the offensive side, it comes down to one position. No, it's not the quarterback. It's the offensive line. If they're having a great game, usually the quarterback and wide receivers, they'll follow suit. So the offensive line, they got to pick it up. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Jackson's going to secure the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. They call for the timeout to stop the clock. All set to punt here.
Peterson with a chance to return this one. He is tackled right at the 50. That returns good for about 13. The Cardinals offense will try to buck the trend here as now we'll see if the punting units can stay on the sideline for a little while because defense has been the order of the day here, Phil. Well, Jim, listen, this has been kind of refreshing. I love it that the defenses are dominating. I'm sick of all these rules on the offensive side. So defenses, take advantage of this and keep on rocking. Second down and 10. Ellington on the screen. Ball was out. Recovery by the offense. The offense was able to recover that fumble. And now it's third and two. Managing that clock, such a big deal in the NFL. That's why they're hurrying up. Don't use that timeout. Keep those timeouts because that is going to maybe give you a chance to win the game. We're late in the second, and that stop is huge, almost guaranteeing this team to have the lead when they go to the locker room. Yeah, everything is on their side right now. You always love to go in and have time with the lead. Now it's up to the offense to be smart. Don't make a big mistake. And intercepted! And that pick all but guarantees they will go into the intermission with the lead. Oh, absolutely. It's been a good first half. And let's see if they can just make it a great first half on the offensive side by taking advantage of that interception and going down and scoring. They come to the line of scrimmage. First down. Strong eye handoff here. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. Well, we don't see this too often. This is a speed back, but a good job that time just running right through the tackle and breaking it. It's a two tight end formation. Gets it again. Greeny's there to take it down. You're running back in this league and you pick up first downs and you don't fumble the football. I promise you one thing, you're going to get more carries. Here we go. First and ten. He's got the catch. Gonna take it home for the touchdown. And that touchdown figures to have them in a very comfortable spot heading into the halftime break. Ooh, they are feeling good. There's no doubt about that. It's been a, a show of good offense here so far in the first half. And now what you gotta do, halftime comes, you gotta go in there and tell yourself to keep this going and keep the pressure on. And the kicker's ready to go. Johnson's gonna test the coverage this time. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The defense comes back onto the field for this next series. And man, if they set the pace for this game so far, as their side has the lead. Yeah, they and listen, I like what they're doing. And the, what's making this work is the fact that they just don't miss tackles. When they have an opportunity, they take the offensive player down. We've reached the intermission, and soon we'll be sending you to Larry Ridley, who's going to break down all the first half highlights as we send it to Orlando in a moment. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Thanks, Jim, and welcome to the EA Sports Halftime Report. I'm Larry Ridley. The Seahawks are happy to be sitting in the locker room with the lead. The Cardinals won't panic either. They know they just need to take it one play at a time. So here we go. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from the first half. Here at Century Link Field, Jim Nance and Bill Sims as the third quarter is about to get underway. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Seahawks take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, partner. Yeah, you know what you do. It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into Second and ten coming up. Let's 
Two tight ends on the field here. Will go ground. Got a flag. Holding offense. That penalty is, of course, going to be accepted by the defense. After that penalty, it sets up second down and 18. Down the field. And that's Peterson who almost comes away with a pick. This is a team in front with a quarterback who has not had his usual outstanding performance. No, performance-wise, as we judge it, look at the stats, it's not going to be a great day for him, but he's done all the other little things. He's been a good leader on the field. He's used his snap count. Those all count in going into trying to win a football game. The defender able to knock it away got to try to avoid this as a quarterback don't throw off that back foot unless you have to when you do there's just no way you're going to be as good if you had good balance that time the throws off the mark Peterson's going to look for space now that's a pickup of 14 Peterson such a great athlete you got to find ways to get the football to him here's another way to get it to him on a punt return how explosive is he man very that's the answer Palmer's got it in the gun. And this goes incomplete as he was looking over the middle. Bad job that time by the quarterback. He misses the receiver on the slant route. When you're throwing the slant route, you got to throw it right into the stomach go, of the receiver. So it's easy for him to make the catch, and he can protect himself also. Ball is out. The offense was able to recover the ball. Well, the offense lucks out this time as they hold on to the football. Yeah, I think the word luck is appropriate here, no doubt about it. Bad fumble that time by the offensive player, but at least they were alert enough to get there and get on it and keep possession of the football. The Cardinals will punt the football. He's going to challenge the punt coverage. Keeps his legs moving. On his way. The 10. All the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Well, the fans love it, don't they? When you see a punt return for a touchdown, it doesn't matter if it's at home or away. It is an exciting play in the game. now the NFL all the teams can spread you out they can run it the quarterback can keep it the big plays the passes very tough for the defense to stop the two-point conversion the Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff Johnson's gonna drop to a knee here so this will come out to the 20 the Seahawks have displayed a phenomenal defense here today, and I think you would agree, Phil. That's the reason they're in position to win this game. Yeah, the defense has been incredible. So aggressive, so full of emotion, running around. Every time you see a tackle, there's like seven or guys on the defensive side around the ball carrier. So that's awesome defense. That's why they're winning this game here so far today. The Seahawks defense brings in an extra member of the secondary. They'll go nickel. Cliff Ogrill brings down the quarterback. quarterback at that time the speed of the defensive end gets around the tackle and gets the sack right 
Homer's going to take the snap from the shotgun. And that pass is going out of bounds. Incomplete. They face third down after the incomplete pass. The Cardinals get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Got hit on release. The Cardinals don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. He's got a chance to return this one. That return's good for about 15. The Seahawks know there's three parts to every football game. Offense, defense, and special teams. What a play for the special teams here. Good punt return, good blocking. They get it done. The Seahawks have extended their halftime lead, and they haven't wasted any time in doing so as they continue to motor up and down the field. You know, this is what you got to do in this league now. When you got it, but it's going well on the offensive side. Don't slow down. Don't get conservative. Keep it going. Try to score points and just dominate the other team. Second down and two to go after the running play. You got to be big, strong. You got to be tough. And we saw all those qualities that time in that run. Look at the broken tackle. Still on his feet. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. That's an awesome job by the offense picking up this first down here in the second half. They've got a big lead. It's not about scoring anymore. It's just about milking that clock. And that is an art that this team is good at. Once again, the run it. Games five. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Double tight end formation. The Seahawks snap it at the 26. Good for only a yard. He's averaging right around seven yards per carry on the game. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting. And they hold the running back to a short game. This is third down. The Seahawks line up in the pistol. He's brought down. That's going to bring up fourth down. That time the quarterback runs the option. Well, it takes too long to develop, Jim. And that time the defense is ready. And they tackle him behind the line of scrimmage. No good. An empty trip for the offense. So many times when you see these field goal kickers miss it, it's just about mechanics. What was it? Were the steps wrong? Did he plant his foot in the right spot? And you got to hit that football in the perfect go, spot, too. A little bit of everything went wrong that time. Ellington's going to take the handoff now. The Cardinals get a first down. I got to give this running back a lot of credit. How about that? He fumbled earlier in the game, but now he is running free, uh, just all out and getting those extra yards after the hit. First down at the 47. And it's out of bounds, incomplete. And he just tosses it incomplete. Right now, Second and 10. Out of the eye. Here's the handoff. Ellington is tackled down. He's now over 60 yards rushing on the ground. The Cardinals offensive line will be whooping it up tomorrow when they watch this play in the field room. What a good job by them. Excellent planning and awesome execution. The Cardinals offense tries to continue some momentum, still possessing the football as the final quarter gets underway. Final quarter underway now with this snap. And that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. The snap will come at the 33. The Seahawks. In the nickel. The Cardinals take it from the 33. Ellington on the screen. Games 17. 
Well, the quarterback showed off his arm strength that time, didn't he? He put the football right on the money, on a line, right into the receiver's hands. First down at the 16. And Urban's all over the ball carrier. The Cardinals offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. They run, but the ball is out. Oh, they cough up the football, and the defense takes possession. A truly disastrous performance from the start, and with that fumble here in the fourth quarter, just another play to add to the long list of the ones they'd rather forget. Well, they're going to have to do a lot of soul searching as a football team, the way they played here today. But also, the coach is going to have to think about what he's going to do to this team to get them back on track. He might have to bench a few of his starters. An extra tight end on the field for this one. He's got a wide open alley. It's third down coming up. Running away from the pressure. Shakes off the hit. And that's a gain of nine. He is a good runner with the football, not like most quarterbacks in the National Football League. They designed runs for him just to do it as a running back. First down at the 49. On the money. That is how you draw it up, isn't it, Phil? Oh, man, a quarterback loves guys that can make catches like this, and they're just so strong. They know how to zero in. They never lose concentration, and you never see him drop a pass. There's a drop. So many times when you drop a football in the NFL, a pass like that, it's because of lack of concentration. You're just not serious about what you're doing. Oh, and almost picked off that time. In a situation like this, third long, if you're the defense, catch them by surprise and blitz. Play number six coming up on this drive. Jackson is in the backfield. Throws the pass. Almost intercepted that time. The Seahawks really don't have much of a chance of picking up this first down. It's third long. Of course, the defense is looking for passes down the field. They're all over everything, and the pass goes incomplete. The Cardinals didn't run the ball like they wanted to early, but that certainly has changed. Ellington's been a key component as he's chipped away at that defense and now finding room to work. Jim, it's like a boxing match. You've got to throw some body blows early in the fight to soften them up. They did that. They softened that defense up. Now they're taking advantage of it. It's out of bounds incomplete. Second down after the incompletion. Homer standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Intercepted. He's into the open. In stride and he's home for the touchdown. When a defense intercepts a pass like that and scores a touchdown, boy, does that give them hope. Gives them a lot of confidence. They really get the momentum on their side, and it's going to be hard for the offense to come out here and do anything after that play. Gets the handle here. The, one the Cardinals are ready to return the kickoff. out across the 20 and tackled at the 21. 
the Cardinals last possession ended somewhat painfully with an interception. You wonder if they're going to try to compensate for that mistake on this drive, Phil. Well, sometimes when you have a mistake on the offensive side, it does make you get more conservative. Let's look at it from the defensive side. It was just a tremendous play. So sometimes in the NFL, that's going to happen where the defensive player is just better than the offensive player. I know you had a lot of experience at this, but after you threw an interception, what was it like coming back out on the field the next time? Well, I tell you, I tell all my teammates, be alert. You might have to tackle again because I'm going to keep firing it down the field. Nice job that time by the defensive player. He is all over the receiver in this man-to-man -man coverage, and there was just nowhere for the quarterback to throw the football. Third down and ten. And that pass is going out of bounds, incomplete. It has been a dominating performance in all facets, Bill, but I think it starts with the defense, which is still starring in the fourth quarter. Yeah, they've been tremendous all day long. I'm going to tell you what, they're going to feel good about themselves when this game is over to, and tonight. And I'll tell you, I think they'll carry this momentum into next week's practice. They're going to be tough again next week. Fields it cleanly and starts his return. Gains 14. Looking now at the numbers, it's got to be a bit frustrating for this running back. You would expect him to get stronger as the game goes on, but the numbers have actually gone in the other direction. Well, that's what you would think, but I'll tell you, this defense has gotten stronger as the game has gone along. You know, I think what happened is they were just tired of getting run over. First down at the 40. He runs with it right up the gut. That's a tackle right near the 48. He's now averaging six yards a carry on the day. When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. And he's tackled down after picking up the first. Phil, today we've seen a running back who was putting up some big rushing totals. Jim, sometimes I get tired of talking about the quarterbacks and wide receivers, how well they're doing. What a good change of pace to watch the game evolve around a running back. And man, this guy has taken advantage of those opportunities. Has his man. Gains 20. Third catch today so far. All right, coaches, don't get greedy. Be decisive over there on the sideline. Do what's best for your football team. Keep getting those first downs and letting that clock just keep running. You got a big lead here in the second half. Don't take any chances. Reaches out and grabs it. The Seahawks are in the end zone for the touchdown. That's his second touchdown today. Impressive showing today. And it's almost on the brink of running up the score and creating some bad blood. What do you think, Phil? Oh, who cares, man? Rub it in, baby. Rub it in when you, you're on top and you're winning the game. I say go for it. Rub some salt in that wound and let them know how much it hurts. And he's tackled right at about the 28-yard line. The Cardinals offense comes onto the field, and even if they put together a scoring drive, there's not going to be any difference here in the outcome. Now just playing for a little bit of pride and perhaps to try to get things going for next week. Well, pride's gone out the window. You've lost that already because it's been a dismal performance by your whole football team today. And I say this on the offensive side, don't press the issue, just get this game over with. The Cardinals take it from the 28. Fitzgerald's got it. And a first. Well, that'll make you feel a little better. Finally getting a first down. You're down big in the second half. And you're on the offensive side. Don't look for the quick score. Just look to pick up positive yards and hope it leads you to a score later. The Cardinals have it at the 39. It's out of bounds incomplete. It's second down, about a minute remaining in this one. The Cardinals have it at the 39. Fitzgerald had it, but couldn't hold on as this goes incomplete. Well, I think it's important for the defense. Anytime it's a third 
long situation for the offense to know where those first down markers are, give a little ground, and make sure you're able to come up and make the tackle short of the first down marker. Palmer's back in shotgun formation. Knocked down as he fires it. When you're in a situation like this, it's third long, what do you think the defense is going to guard against? Long pass down the field, that's right. So it's very obvious, and that time nobody's open down the field, so the pass goes incomplete. They'll take it at the 20. The Seahawks offense takes the field and what is, in essence, an encore bow to the crowd here as they have been the dominant team all game long and time is running out. This is when I was at my best when I played, Jim. When we were winning, I came out there late in the game, too. I could kneel down and kill the clock as good as any quarterback in history. Well, Jim, and they got the lead. There's not much time left. Run the football and this clock. Keep it moving, and you can win the game. Take no chances. Don't jump off sides. Don't create a penalty and put two hands on the ball. The Seahawks take it from the 28. And they deck the quarterback. Defensive tackles, we always think of them as run stoppers. How about this that time? He does a great job, gets in there, and sacks the quarterback. The big sack pushes the offense into a very difficult third down and 11. And they'll get to him again for the sack. So for Phil Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now.